Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to Unquiet Live. We are here from the Haven in Pomona, California, and today we have a very special guest all the way from Venice. It is the uh, band Strawberry Fuzz, and Strawberry Fuzz is insane. This set was crazy. The interview was super fun. You're going to love it. But before we get into that, I want to let you know that today's video is brought to you by DistroKid. DistroKid gets your music into all the online stores and streaming services, and they are the best distributor out there. They really, really are. They have all these different tools and services for you. For example, they have this thing called Splits, and Splits allows you to, let's say you work with a producer, you work with another songwriter, you work with another artist, you could put that percentage when you're uploading the song onto DistroKid, and they automatically pay out those um, songwriters, those producers, the other artists, whoever you're working with. So you don't even have to worry about that. It's super seamless. It's super easy. And that's just one of the many, many tools that they offer. So use DistroKid if you're trying to get your music onto all those streaming services and, and online stores and use the link in the description of this video to do it. Because if you do, you get a percentage off your first year's fee and you support Unquiet Live all at once. So it's a win-win. So click the link in the description, get your music out into the world and enjoy this episode with Strawberry Fuzz. Thank you for tuning in. What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Unquiet Live. Today, we have very special guests, Strawberry Fuzz, what coming up, what all the way up? from Venice. What up, guys? How we doing? We're doing great. Thanks for being here. Thanks, Thanks for, for making the trip. Us. All right. Fucking ready to throw down. <laughs> all right. Let's, let's it. get it. You get into the first one, and then we'll let's do chat it. it up a little bit. All right, this one's no lighter. We're Strawberry Fuzz. Start it off, boys. That was insanity. Woo. Insanity. Getting hot Sorry. real quick. <laughs> Let's go. Man, yeah. thank you guys for being here. That was crazy. That was oh, a crazy yeah. way thank to start. You, thank you. Yeah. Um, well, shit. I think you guys are one of the most insane live bands I've seen. I, uh, I was telling some of you at a recent show, but I saw you guys at school night at the Bardo Hollywood, like, a, yeah. I don't know, a couple months ago at this point. Yeah. And it was so insane. Like, I feel like I've seen a million shows there, just like stupid industry things that it's yeah. like always, you know, fine artists, but they're pretty, you know, they, they have a fun. type. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Boring. Nobody's moving. <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> they, have, they definitely have a certain type there, you know, yeah, um, totally. and so they call it school night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so to see to see you guys just like come and just tear it up and your fans showed up and people were moshing and moving. It was like. The most insane thing I've seen. It was so thank awesome. You. I was so hyped to see y'all yeah, there. So, yeah, so, it was yeah, sick. It was sick. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I, I guess, like, I just want to kind of get to know y'all a little bit. Like, I feel like you kind of popped onto the scene out of nowhere. 
um, like 2021, but you're all amazing musicians. So I imagine this isn't your first band. Like, yeah, yeah could you just give me a little like origin story on Strawberry Flex? Take it, pop. Well, fucking, I was in another band. Alex is a producer, so we produce everything ourselves. Um, but yeah, pretty much met him. He produced my old band's track and then realized we lived the block away well, from each other. We started writing and it was like, and then COVID happened and we just uh, wrote like, would get songs. shit face drunk and we met chris and just we write like, all the how's the tracks. how's the fucking live ga- band gonna be like what what's gonna be like then chris came in and then dash came in and then andy uh came along too and it was like and it just then we got like, andy yeah. everything and everything got <laughs> fucked <laughs> <laughs> yeah it just fell into well, place pretty pretty much on Venice, like house year. parties met all of each other and yeah. started making music damn so you guys met in venice like at just Legitimately. the homie's house really yeah. Good old Dappy. Shout out Dappy's house. Wow. <laughs> Used to be crazy, but it got shut down. Dappy first. Let's go. Damn, that's Shout fucking crazy. So what? Um, so you started to make music. It's uh, you haven't put out a ton of stuff yet, right? Like no. uh, we're on a new album now. Like we're working on it. Okay. Gotcha. January release. Slowly but surely. Yeah. Nice, nice. So what happens? Like, like you guys all start to hang. You're like, hey, let's be like, let's make music together. You record it, put it out like pretty much right away. Or have you been yeah. sitting we on stuff? We played one show. Precious about it. We yeah. write it. That's why the fuzz tapes. There's so many verses that are just repeated vocals because we're like, ah, we don't need more lyrics. Well, we it. played <laughs> one show. Our, fir- our first show we played, we had like so many songs. We're like, well, we played a show. We got to fucking put out songs, right? And we just just shout out a bunch of demos that we still love, but yeah. that's what they are. And now we're putting out yeah, uh, we're playing one records today. that we Sickness. That we care about. Yeah. Sadness. I don't even know the name of it. <laughs> still doesn't even <laughs> have words. I make words. it up every time. It's crazy. That's tight. Okay. Yeah, so, I mean, um, and also, guys, feel free. Sorry, I know you don't have a vocal mic, but if you want to talk into Come on, bitch. Say it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, He's going to my stand-up <laughs> So, it, so you produce or? Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Mm-hmm. Is it? Is it interesting, like, going from the producer side of things where everything kind of needs to be, like, really dialed in and perfect to playing in, like, yeah, such a kind of manic it's band? really hard. <laughs> but, but, like, you just have to get both sides of your brain at different times. Yeah. If you record all this crazy shit, you can't do engineer stuff. Or at least what I can't. You have to yeah. do... And then I will get to it, and then it's kind of back and forth. Got so, it. Interesting. Yeah. That's cool. And then, so is the history of, like, you guys as musicians, um, were you in, like, other punk bands? Were you in, like... What like kind of my high school band was a thrash band called Iron Hyman. Also, you won the cabaret. <laughs> the Unbreakable. <laughs> Didn't you win the cabaret in middle school or something? <laughs> oh, yeah, we were talking about the way over. I won a battle of the bands in middle school by singing "Sweet Child of Mine." <laughs> 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 Fucking ripped it. Dash actually just spawned out of nowhere. Uh, he yeah. was never a baby. Dash never played music before. Until yeah, I, I've never even touched a bass or a guitar a before this. And then we met him what? and started talking. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, fuck. Wait, really? You just like no, 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 no. This is the right. first band, like I. This is the first band I played bass in. Actually. Wow, that's cool. But I used to be in a band where I played guitar and sang. Got it. We were like pretty funky, songs. but but kind of <laughs> yeah. punk too. That's yeah. like the opposite of going solo. <laughs> <laughs> you leveled down bass by in a band now. <laughs> right, right, right. Oh um, man. Um, all right. Well, f- last question in this first set of questions, so then we could get into some more music. But oh, yeah. um, is there like a general kind of like? ethos that you had in mind when you started this band like you guys just want to like do you yeah. want to make a certain type of music and say a certain thing and it yeah it started with where have you been fuck and we were and yeah we just had this kind of like gutter i don't know colby and i are great uh, answer you fuck. <laughs> 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 yeah though Our there interview is segments gonna be the worst <laughs> interview short answer ever had. yes cut everything out and just play the songs <laughs> short answer no <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you were about to say something pretty good. No, no, no there is. Though. Like we started it, and it just this vibe just kind of snowballed into where we are now. Where uh, Get a I don't know how you explain it, but cigs, go into yeah, your fucking tiny yeah, we're room a bottle and bag band. Nice, that's yeah. what happens. That's tight. That's tight. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Well, with that, uh, yeah, you want to get into the next two? Yeah, the sadness, the one that's still half written, but we play it forever. <laughs>
Let's get it. You blew it. <laughs> Proper fuzz style. <laughs> That's not how it's supposed to sound. <laughs> oh, so sick. That song is so great. It's such a great song. And I think it's such an exciting song. Like, something I really love about your band is uh, the energy that you bring is obviously super wild. But, like, the songs you write are also very, um, what's the word? Like, uh accessible i guess and like that chorus is so catchy and like fun yeah. it's like fun to sing it's like three chords in the truth brother. <laughs> <laughs> three chords in the truth is all you need it's sick don't yeah. overthink it <laughs> yeah it's awesome i love it um oh yeah we do off that though i have so many homies like damn i thought you guys were like a punk band or a thrash band and then it's like wait now you're doing doo-wop now you're doing <laughs> pop punk it's like do whatever nice yeah that was gonna be my question yeah okay cool yeah that was gonna be our question like is there because yeah it does feel like you're kind of i mean you live in this certain you live between worlds kind of thing like all the stuff you just mentioned is was there like a specific genre you wanted to make when you started this or was it like fuck it let's just have fun let's see what happens pretty much whatever we were listening to that day really yeah exactly it's like oh man i just heard this old doo-wop song let's write a song like that like proper agenda (laughs) It's like, fuck, I was just watching TSOL and the Cuckoo's Nest documentary. Let's make a fucking punk song. <laughs> the only thing we haven't done yet is, is add, like, a synth bass. But yeah. until then. <laughs> nice, nice, synth nice. Bass. Yeah, nice. That's one genre we haven't gotten to yet. <laughs> we'll Kitar. We'll get We're there. adding a guitarist. <laughs> if you're looking to that's join a band, <laughs> join us. <laughs> that's right. That's awesome. Yeah, so is there, um, I mean... This is kind of a whack question. I hate asking it, but like, whatever. Um, Are there like certain goals or like certain things you want to do with the band? Like, is your main focus, I want to play as many shows as possible with big bands? Like, I want to tour, or is it more like I just want to put out more albums? I think we just want to hang out with the boys (laughs) and make some music. The main goal was just playing in Venice every weekend. And (laughs) now we play the Venice West like constantly, and it's kind of like, oh shit, we we did that. But well, like last night, we hung out at my place, a bunch of people, and we just. Someone plays guitar and we just sing over it. It's the same thing. That's yeah, I, I like that. We stay that's, up till four in the good morning. We're supposed to do this the next day. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. Sweating our taints off. Yeah, 
I know, I know. I mean, I know you started this band in kind of a weird time with like the pandemic and everything. But um, have you had a chance to really tour yet, or have you both mostly been like we're going on conquering we're going LA on tour next month? Oh, It'll cool. be our first like little run. Freak Out Fest, back. Seattle. Yep. Oh, sick. Yeah, it should be fuck super yeah. Sick. Are you have you toured before like in other bands or? We got flown out to Dartmouth. Wow. Uh, yeah, a frat bones gate. Hit us up on Instagram. We're like, yeah, pay us, bro. <laughs> and they flew us out there, and it was a cut, sick I would, I would show. cut that in crazy. a heartbeat. <laughs> it was These so These frats sick. hit us up. Pay us. Let's go. <laughs> no, we like them. They flew us out. No, they're the homies. Ooh. Shout out Bonesgate at Dartmouth. Those That's guys sick. party super hard. Fuck. That's so <laughs> tight. Um, damn. Okay. So are you are you excited to, like, tour? Or is it kind of, like, yeah, shitty being in a van with like all you nah, that's, <laughs> all i want to do is be in a stinky van with my bros <laughs> <laughs> nice hell yeah hell yeah hell yeah dude i love it um so so upcoming stuff like i know you you kind of alluded that you're working on the new album right yeah. uh is there yeah is there like a timeline is there like like what does next year look like for you guys next year i don't know what tomorrow looks like first <laughs> off, but the, the release schedule is I think next month we're going to have like a, a dump, like a mini EP, but it's just songs on the album. So hopefully we're going to release about three of them, just blah, and, gotcha. then, uh, and then just keep doing more until the album comes out. Sick. You know? Okay. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then who does, do all of you write or? Yeah. Nice. All of us. Pretty much everybody. Nice. Yeah. There's it, a song by everybody on the records. Yeah. Nice. Andy Rowe, 86th. <laughs> that's, our country, that's our country record. That one's in his coming sleep, out. Actually, TBD on the release date. <laughs> it's a straight fever dream of a song, my bro. <laughs> do you write lyrics to everyone, or do you mostly write yeah, the lyrics? Involved. Pretty much everyone. Yeah. We yeah. sit in a room and we Colby keep and spinning in the microphone until it's like, "That's whack. That's whack." All right, that works. Yeah, that's and whack. The, and then we all, when we all agree, it's usually okay. Nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think every song was freestyled. I think every lyric of every song was yeah. freestyled. It That's wasn't very true. It wasn't pre-written. Yeah. We loop, yeah, we loop the guitar lines and then we just No shit. Get yeah, on we, the we mic rare, and freestyle. We rarely like write shit down on like yeah. piece of paper. We're like Jay-Z, like, bro. <laughs> I was about to say it. We're, We're like Jay-Z. five Jay-Zs. <laughs> <laughs> it's unreal. I'm looking at and five Jay-Zs. <laughs> I, I think baby. we're more like Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Cut that out of the oh, interview. <laughs> Let's just cut everything he says out of the interview. You heard it here first. He's out of the band. You'll see a new guitarist the next time we play together. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Um, damn. Um, so is it like, as this is a question for you, because you're kind of the, you know, obviously the front man singing, yeah. and your energy's nuts. Um, what's like your approach to live music? And kind of all of you, because all of you are amazing live musicians, but I feel like, yeah. Third song, Ed. Shirts off. You're fucking yeah. in the crowd. You're I know. I'm surprised insane. my shirt's still on. <laughs> like, I've been drinking uh... a little too much. My belly's getting big again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, pretty much, yeah. I, I don't know. Every time I see a band and it's just like mellow energy, it's just so whack. It's like, ugh. Great music, but I want to like look at something. So Yeah. So you wanted to make that happen answer, with your bro. band. That was a great answer, Colby. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tom. Ask me. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I love it. Um, I mean, that Lux interior, you know, <laughs> that sexy Lux. No, Colby, All right, Colby's okay. a secret psychopath, and he lets it out on stage instead of instead of hurting people. It's American Psycho. Yeah, it's my release, so I don't kill people. <laughs> oh my God, you guys would be so fun to hang with just all day. <laughs> You're telling me. You're telling me. I'm trying to quit these dudes, man. <laughs> I was telling you, um, I so I work with the band Deathlands, and uh, you guys played a show with them at the Echo. The boys, and the boys, yeah, Deathlands, the tight. boys. So they uh, they're very opinionated about like most bands, and they're kind of like I don't know, right? I could say that they're they're a little opinionated. <laughs> um, yeah. But uh, you they, should be. Let's <laughs> yeah. go. But Brian, I always fools. I always fuck with them. I don't know who runs the Instagram, yeah. but yeah, I was yeah, talking I to you. Yeah, I was, <laughs> but. Um, I was telling him, I was like, dude, I'm book, like, I'm going to ask this band to hop on our show. And uh, they might be like the one that could give you the run for the money of like craziest live Let's band. And, and he was like, he was like, we'll see, we'll see. And then like at the show, he was like, yeah, fuck. The, the yeah, that was pretty that tight. Dude, he was like, seems like we got a little rivalry. Yeah. Run, yeah. And I'm like, oh, okay. We're sizing each other up outside. I was like, what's up, bro? Yeah, yeah. Lead singer yeah. beef. Come on. Right here. Right here. 
It's on site with the lead singers. My dude. boys. No, that was the singers during their set. Like, yo, shout out Strawberry Fuzz, but we'll still fuck you up. <laughs> Did he say My that? My boys. <laughs> Yeah, they're great. They're amazing. And then you got the tour coming up. Any, yep. any other dates to plug or any anything else? <laughs> Nothing. Andy Fest. No, we're not <laughs> plugging that. Absolutely not. We'll no, be at freak the out Fest in Seattle because For we're sure. playing. For sure. All right. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Um, and then any other like stuff you just wanted to chat about? Maybe a question you you wish I'd ask. Shit. Fuck no, man. Are you from <laughs> Venice? This interview's getting the most anxiety ever. <laughs> You nah, you chopped that right out of the interview. The answer is, is resounding hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, cool. Yeah, you want to just get into the last song, and then we'll yeah, wrap yeah, things damn up. damn right. Cool. Get us out of here. Kick us out. <laughs> Song's called The Cowboy. Hit it. Come on, boys. Outside of an LA bar, smoking my cigarette. And this old headed cowboy came up to me, you know what he said? Well, I've been in your boots, son. I know you're running fast. Hold on till the good times. Shit. God damn, that was crazy. And shout out to the people who came and supported. Shout on the out left. to the ladies. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Um, God damn, you guys are insane. Thank you so, so much for coming. Thanks for Thanks having for us. Being here. You guys are freaking next, dude. I cannot wait to book you as much as I can. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Gonna, Let's go. I'm just going to continue hitting you up for every show. Fuck so. yeah. So, sorry if I get annoyed. Fuck <laughs> no. Every time. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but shit, yeah. That was fucking awesome. I have a few quick shout outs for mine, but any shout outs or things you wanted to mention? Shout out the homies. Yeah. Whole Venice crew. Shout out Whole Venice crew. Chris Bell. <laughs> Chris Bell. 
Daffy, Randy, yum. Condor, Wax. <laughs> Just how much time do we have? <laughs> Cubu. Cubu. Well, that was great. Uh, yeah, yeah, from I mean, from my end, just real quick, shout out to the one and only Guayaki Yerbamate. Let's go. Yeah. Thanks for we sponsoring the show. You're all our new homies, and thank you. You keep us alive so we can have awesome bands like fucking Strawberry Fuzz. Still waiting Yerba on the Mate alcohol version. Yerbamate. Yerba and Drink Tobo Chico up. Mineral Water, who do, they do have an alcohol the version. Great Tobo is. Chico seltzers, but uh, Mineral Water. Thank you so much. You've been supporters. They've been supporting us for like three years. So fucking yeah. shout out to yeah. Tobo Chico. Love that. And uh, last but not least, DC Shoes for keeping us alive. Yo, Love you, DC Shoes. Let's Actually, go, we'll bro. Get some we'll get some bands. We'll get some shoes for y'all too. Like you just send me your sizes. We'll get you yeah, hooked up with some. Yo. Yeah. 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 All Yo. that shit. I want some deer decks. Uh, <laughs> I just want a game show. <laughs> and with that, uh, Strawberry Fuzz, thank you so much. Thanks for thank having you, us. Man. All right. Let's fucking go. See you at the next show.